morning everybody we're gonna do a review of the LTV L50 uh, setup and uh, basic settings how to dial everything in we're gonna start first with the side panel getting your circuit on this adapter piece will be included in your bag with your circuit when you open it it's gonna insert right here into the main inlet port you will attach your bacteria filter and then you will attach your circuit next You'll see that they have three lines associated with the LTV circuits. Uh, you cannot hook them up wrong. Each one has a distinct plug-in for each one. The first one being the proximal pressure line. The next one is going to be a flow transducer. It's yellow color coded. Uh, for these, they screw on. So suggestion is to counter twist it first, line it up, and it'll kind of set itself on. and you just want to make sure they're in good. Um, if they're not in secured all the way, it will give you some uh, vent low pressure alarms once you start the vent up. This right here is your audible alarm for your speaker. On the opposite side, you're gonna have your main power supply cord. You're gonna have some additional plugs for like external alarms, nurse's call button. This right here is to bleed in additional oxygen. You have two filters. The first one being this one. This little plastic piece has to be removed. You don't want to stick anything to hook it because you don't want to pierce anything behind here. This is a removable porous filter that can be gently washed with soap and water. It's very, very thin, so you have to be careful when washing this. Once it's pressed dry with a towel, you can replace it back. Uh, one thing they recommend if you want to make this easier to get in and out, uh, they'll take a bread tie, they'll hook it around, but you want to remove this before you do that, and then pull it and twist it so you have something to pull it out with. It does snap right back in place. This is the second filter right here. It's a little bit thicker foam filter. It has to be washed about once a week and press dried also. On the back of the vent, you have your basic setup for your base for your stand. It's going to have a, an, an accompanying port on the stand that will slide into this. Uh, the stands that I've seen with the LTV uh, 1150 and 950, they do not uh, have rolling stands. They have a little short base that we've used. Almost looks like a little book, book reader stand. Getting to the front of the LTV, this will normally be slid into place here covering uh, most therapists will put this in place so the parents are not seeing all of, all the additional numbers. When you remove this, it has instructions for everything on the ventilator. All your operational controls, um, your responses to alarms, your mode selection, and how to check out the ventilator. Getting to the ventilator itself, we're going to start with the main section of controls here. You have your off and on here. Once the ventilator comes on, it'll ask you is the same patient or if you're starting a new patient, you can scroll to the new patient. You have to select either or. If it's a new patient, you can input the new data for the new patient. But this time we're going to stay same patient. Power supply. Alarm silence is here. Once the problem is fixed, it'll reset itself. On the power supply cord, there is a button that has to be pressed when removing or plugging it up. If you ever accidentally force this out and break this piece, it will no longer stay plugged and you will constantly have power failures. Right here, you have the select between volume of pressure and on making selections, you'll get a blinking light. When you freeze that again, it'll make that selection for you and then you'll have the new controls that, that are according to that, whatever you just selected. 
Same thing with the mode of ventilation. If you press select, it'll give you a blinking light. If you want to choose that, you hit it. If you want to go back, if it was an error, you'll have to go back and reselect the assist control. In these modes, you have assist control, SIMV with CPAP, and also MPPV down here. You have a manual breath button, and it's exactly self-explanatory. When you press this button, it'll give a manual breath with the preset title volume. You also have an inspiratory, expiratory hold button that you can utilize right here. Getting to your breath rate, it functions the same way as we did on the changes here. When you press this, everything goes blank except for what you're controlling. You always use your toggle to select and to make changes. Once your change is complete, you re-hit again, it's accepted, and then all your controls come back into fit, to view. You can see that we have visible, very lightly, volume and pressure support. Well, the, these right here are not controlled in this mode of ventilation. Anything that's not accepted for the mode that you're currently in will be shadowed. Pressure control, inspiratory time, they're going to function the same way. Whatever you want to set it at, you can control right here. Make your exception. Sensitivity. It goes from one to nine. When you get up here to your screen, it's going to show you, it's going to be cycling through what the event is monitoring and the current settings, your frequency or rate, your tidal volume, expiratory, your IE ratio, your peak inspiratory pressure. If ever you want to hold one of these just for a few seconds to observe it, if you press, it'll freeze on that one for a certain amount of time. If you double click twice, it'll start cycling back through again. The top bar is gonna be your pressure display. It'll give you with the last breath with the little marker and it'll give you full bars for each breath to show you exactly what's being delivered. Coming over here, it's gonna show you anytime there's a patient effort this will blink. It's going to show you that you have an external power source. External power sources are plugged into the wall as well as plugged into the battery. Anything besides the internal battery use will be indicated on the external power source. This is showing that we're currently in a charge status. We don't have an external battery plugged up to it, but the internal battery does require to be plugged in to be charged. This will be the new form of the external battery. It's gonna have, we're not gonna activate this right now because it's a brand new battery, but pulling the tabs will activate your battery. This test will show you the power level of each battery. To utilize and to charge the battery, we would press our button, remove our cord, plug our battery in, plug it in right here and basically what we're doing is creating a loop cycle still getting power from the wall but we're charging our battery at the same time at any point in time if we need to become mobile all we have to do is, is unplug the external source from the wall the battery will kick in there is a sub menu that controls volumes um, alarms and it gives you additional information about the ventilator it's something that we normally won't use but just in case you basically hold the select button for two seconds it'll start giving you these sub menus if you want to go into the alarm operation if you hit that it allows you to change alarm volume the apnea HP delay LPP alarm high frequency High peak, low peak, patient assist, and then once you get here, it exits. You have that, vent operation, 
queries is into the storage of things that have happened with the vent. And then once you cycle through, when you get to exit, you can hit back out. It'll go back to your main control showing you the different things that the vent's monitoring. Okay, back to the LTV 1150. We had an earlier video that went over basic setup and how to go in and out of your controls and how to set your settings. We're gonna talk briefly now about uh, the small alarm package as well as shutting down procedure. Uh, the alarm package is gonna be displayed in this window right here. And it's gonna be operated exactly like every other setting on the machine. If you wanna set or change a limit, we're seeing right now here we're running about 28. So if we wanted to reduce this a little bit or raise it, again, you use your toggle. When you get where you want, as you can see, everything blacked out. We select again, it's accepted, everything returns. It'll be the same thing for low pressure, the same thing for low minute volume, okay? Down here is where our peep is set. Same function as everything else. Shutting the machine down, you will hold this down until you get a, a power down. As you see, you have a solid alarm. That's to prevent an accidental shutdown by maybe another sibling in the house or just accidental. You have to press silence reset in order to stop that alarm. 